good morning. Welcome to Yoga with Tina, morning stretch. Typically, uh, the sequence that we do on Thursdays, or the second sequence of the week, is low and slow. Today, we are focusing on arms and core. So we will be um, slower. It's gonna be less of a flow. So less of a one pose leads to another. And a little bit more intentional. So if, um, Sometimes I just put a sequence together that kind of flows together. Uh, if I have like a specific, you know, if we do like specific parts, I would encourage you to really focus on those parts. So I recently taught um, a class in my neighborhood and they said like when we were focusing on arms, they never thought about like intentionally engaging the arms. So, you know, when you think about arm strengthening, we tend to think like push-ups and you know lifting weights and that sort of thing. It's not always necessary. So if we were to do like kind of the warrior two, you really think about dropping the shoulders and then slowly engaging the arms. Like even you can feel the strengthening of the fingertips and the shoulder blades drawing together. Like it doesn't look like much, but if you hold that for a couple of breaths, you'll start to feel the lengthening of the muscles and the engagement of the muscles. So you're strengthening. So while we're going through it, that's what I want you to think about. So with that, let's get started. Join me in a seated pose. We will probably do um, some different centering next week, but for today, find those sit bones connected with the earth. Start sinking in. Start letting uh, maybe some of the sleep wear off. Maybe you were up kind of worrying. It's, it feels like we're ticking back into these anxious times. We all have things that are weighing on us. So if that's the case, start letting some of that melt away for the next 40 minutes. Be here for yourself. Be here to clear that beautiful brain of yours. So sitting up nice and tall, maybe draw the belly button in towards the backbone just slightly. Lower the chin towards the chest, but not all the way. Just wanna feel like the lengthening in the top of the spine. Soften those shoulders. Maybe draw the shoulder blades together just slightly. And your choice, either palms facing up to start receiving the energy that you're creating for yourself, or allowing yourself to feel grounded and maybe just closed off just a little bit more for, for starting the day. But your choice. Invite the eyes to close for just a few moments. With each exhale, see if you can let go of something that's no longer serving you. With each inhale, maybe just breathe in a little bit of calm and peace. Maybe bring some gentleness in. Maybe a tiny bit of patience. So with each exhale, try and soften, release, let go. Each inhale, feel the cool air coming in through the nose and let it fill the body with energy, positivity, stillness, all things that help heal, ground, and restore. Feeling the parts of the body that are connected. Taking just these few moments at the beginning of the sequence and at the end, to feel like maybe you don't have to do it all. Allow that earth to hold you in place, let you feel stable, secure, without trying. Maybe even feel the cool air passing over the skin this morning. Soften the skin of the face, relax the jaw, bring separation between the top and bottom teeth and try to release the tongue from the top of the mouth. Five deep inhales and exhales. In through the nose, filling, expanding, stopping at the top, holding, and only exhaling when your body says that it must. After the 
active exhale. Just bringing some general awareness back to your space. Maybe wiggle the fingers and toes. And then revisiting a very simple meditation that we did quite a bit ago. So keeping the eyes closed, keeping the alignment in place. Allow the backs of the hands to connect with the tops of the knees. And with each word thought, bring finger to thumb. The finger to the thumb helps to um, connect the brain inward instead of paying attention outward. And the mantra that I start with my, even my little two-year-olds, that's about the youngest I've taught this to. It's called Peace Begins With Me. And it's just a simple four syllable, four word mantra. And touching the fingers to the thumbs, it's an acupressure. So, you know, most of us carry these fingers with us wherever we go. So if you feel like you're in an intense moment, or if you just need to reset, just closing the eyes, touching finger to thumb, thinking inside that beautiful brain of yours, peace begins with me. And silently, just repeating it 10 times. Calming the face, keeping the alignment, keep the brain alert. As thoughts float in, allow them to float away. And just thinking peace begins. After you get to your tenth, peace begins with me. Wiggle the fingers and toes. Quietly open the eyes. Maybe draw the chin down towards the chest, bringing the hands right into front of the knees. So that little mantra, peace begins with me, I only ever taught to my babies until I realized the simplicity of it was really for all of us. Bring the fingertips behind the body, leaning forward, releasing the shoulders, maybe starting to look up towards the sky, really focusing on the arms and expanding the core. Exhale, bring the fingertips back out in front, release. Round the spine, tuck the pelvis in, release the chin to the chest, So if you're stuck in that traffic, or if you're running behind, fingertips behind, open the chest, open the heart. Obviously the hands are on the steering wheel, but just think peace begins with me, knowing that it flows outward, especially if you're serving people on a regular basis. One more time in each direction. Something about that simple little mantra helps us to reset and respond instead of react. And then come to neutral. Plant the left hand, reach the right arm up and over. And then slowly make three big circles, brushing the earth with the fingertips, really opening up the shoulders. And after the third time, reach and hold. If you like the feeling of opening the chest and the heart, maybe bring the arm behind the body just slightly, and then reset to neutral to, and move to the other side. So reaching on the right side, three big circles. After the third, reach and hold. Maybe open the chest and heart space. And then slowly release, coming back to neutral. Draw the chin to the chest once more. Making those small movements. So maybe drawing the chin up to the right shoulder and then the left. If it feels good, go a little bit further and deeper. 
or finding those places of tension and just holding the space, breathing into the space. And then release, bringing the knees underneath, coming into tabletop, really start to, um, start to think about the engagement of the arms and the core. So because this isn't, uh, this isn't a flow today, we get to be a little bit more intentional. I try to cue even with the flow, but um, really pressing the fingertips and the palms of the hands into the earth, slight micro bend in the elbows. Really, when you're pressing away, it helps to release those shoulders from the ears. Eyes are towards the mat, nice long spine. So really lengthen, bring the belly button in towards the backbone. Try to stack shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. And just by holding everything, so engaging everything, you can feel the strengthening of the body. Always being mindful when we're holding a pose not to hold the breath. And then slowly walk the arms away, coming into bleeding heart, sinking the forehead and the underarms towards the earth. The hips stay high, trying to stack the hips right over the knees. Just opening up this arms. And then slowly on the next exhale, walking the hands right back up to tabletop. So getting right into the core, tops of the feet are connected with the earth. Really press that mat away without hyperextending the elbows. So, you know, if you press into the earth and the insides of the elbows point towards the front of the mat, that's hyperextending. So just a micro bend. So on the next inhale, with the core completely engaged, shoulders release just lifting the knees off of the mat. So again, this is one of those that doesn't look like much, but as soon as you lift the knees, you, you, will feel, you should feel it. You probably feel it. No holding the breath. Deep inhales and exhales. One more deep breath. On the exhale, release. Turn the toes under, sink the hips back, walk those hands up and then reverse open. So clasping hands behind the back, opening the chest and the heart. So just trying to do a reverse movement and also getting a little arch stretch. And keeping the toes turned under, coming back to the tabletop. So a different version of the tabletop hover, but this time you have the toes tucked under. So on the next inhale, engage the core, lift the knees. Five deep inhales and exhales. Nice long spine. And release. Untuck the toes. Bring the knees together. Sink the hips. Three deep breaths in child's pose. and then moving through tabletop, coming to the forearms. So we've done this series uh, before, if you follow my either YouTube or our live, um, our live sequences. Palms pressed together. This is just a little core sequence that I came up with. Really pressing the palms together and then extend right leg long, left to meet. So this is a forearm plank, core stays engaged. So targeting both the arms and the core, but you can still feel this beautiful stretch in the legs also. So pressing into the heels, really draw that belly button in towards the backbone. And then on the next exhale, lift the hips high, maybe walk the fingers, I mean the toes in just a little bit. Coming into dolphin and really keeping the neck and the head neutral here. So sinking into the heels, just no craning of the neck, allow the neck to be in line and not looking around. And if you wanna go a little bit further, you can move the toes back just slightly and kind of, we call this swim the dolphin in my kids' classes. So coming down into the plank and then lifting back up. 
So trying to release those sit bones up towards the sky and then coming forward. So nice and slow movement, being mindful of the neck and the head. Inhale, exhale, lift one more time, and then slowly lower the knees. Walk the hands away from the body, keeping the hips high. Sink the underarms down. Two more deep breaths. And then slowly walking the hands back underneath the shoulders coming into our full plank. So full plank to downward dog. And if you feel like you need to do assisted plank, you know, do assisted plank. It's okay. Put the knees down. So try to align the shoulders over the wrist, pressing into the heels. Nice long spine. Core is engaged. On the exhale, lift the hips high. Draw the ears in between the arms. Start to sink or pedal the feet. Neck and head stay nice and loose here. And to go a little bit deeper, you can come into your full plank or your assisted plank. Just nice and slow, mindful movement. So just flow with the breath. So exhaling into downward dog, inhaling, coming into the plank. One more time, inhale into full plank, exhale downward dog. And then look between the hands, slowly start to walk the feet up towards the hands, forward fold. So bending the knees, softening the body over the legs. Top of the head released towards the ground. You can either hold on to opposite elbows or hold around the backs of the knees. Soften the jaw. Release the hands towards the earth. Slowly roll the spine all the way up. Inhale, sweep the arms up and over. Palms pressed together. Reaching up. Core is engaged. So these are the standing poses. Really think about the engagement of the arms and the core here. Soften that jaw. Leaning towards the right. Feeling the stretch in the arms and in the side body. Keeping that core engaged. Inhale, coming to neutral. Reaching up tall. Exhale, towards the left. Inhale, reaching up one more time. Exhale, open the arms. Clasping hands behind. Sending the fists towards the earth, opening the chest, the heart, releasing the shoulders. On the exhale, keeping the hands clasped, feet are in mountain pose. Send the hips back, softly release all the way down, keeping the knees bent and only holding on to the hands if it feels good. So no pain here. If it's painful, you can always release, like slowly release, and almost just keep the fingertips lifted and the arms engaged. One more deep breath in through the nose on the exhale. Slowly start to release the arms down. Roll the spine up. Sweep the arms up and over. Palms pressed together. And then open the arms, twisting in your mountain pose, opening towards the right. So the arms stay engaged, shoulders are released, fingertips reaching in opp opposite directions. Eyes are looking over the right shoulder, hips are square with the front of your mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up and over. Exhale, open towards the left. Really focusing on the core engagement and the arms 
strengthened. Inhale, sweep the arms up and over. And then release the arms down. So planting the hands, coming into prayer pose, thumbs to the heart, reminding us we are all connected by no mistake. And then slowly lowering the wrists down, allowing the, the elbows to kind of flare out. Just keeping the shoulders released. And then maybe dialing the fingers away from the body, just giving the wrists a little bit of a break, a little stretch out, and then maybe bringing the fingertips in towards the body, allowing the shoulder, I mean the elbows to kind of float away from the body. And then coming back to neutral, backs of the hands into reverse prayer. Lower the wrist down. And if you have limitations in the, in the wrist, just be mindful of it. Know where it feels right to pause or to stop. And then slowly bringing the palms back together. So coming towards the front of the mat, release the hands to the hips sinking into chair pose. So chair pose, we have a nice long spine. Sometimes we see kind of the swaying of the lower, the lower back. Just try and neutralize it. So don't tuck too much under. Just think a nice long line from the crown of the head all the way to the tailbone. Shoulders are released. Core stays engaged. And then incorporate the arms where it feels good. So if you have the hands at the hips or even at heart center, Pressing the palms together. To engage the arms more, reaching the, the arms away from the body. So up near the ears, sinking the hips, but keeping the long spine. If this feels like too much, you can always release to stand and flow with this. On the next exhale, stand. Maybe give it a little shake out. And then bringing the hands to heart center, slowly bending the knees once again. And then this time hooking the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. So really be mindful to keep the knees in line with one another as you're twisting, using the leverage of that elbow to draw the thumbs to heart center. One more breath, slowly release to neutral and come to standing. Shake it out. Take a few deep breaths in a mountain pose. And then after you have reset, slowly coming back down into, into chair pose, releasing those shoulders, hooking the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Using that leverage to draw the thumbs back to heart center. Pressing the palms together. And then slowly releasing to neutral, all the way to standing, sweeping the arms up and over, palms pressed together, reaching the fingertips up high. Exhale, open the arms, swan dive all the way down, bending the knees, coming into forward fold. Three more deep breaths here. After your third exhale, plant the hand, step right leg back, left to meet, high plank. Invite the low plank if you need it. Three more deep breaths. Slowly lower all the way down, maybe stopping halfway, and then release all the way to the belly. One hand on top of the other, forehead released to the top of the hands, bending the knees, slow windshield wipering back and forth. And release the leg. Sweep the arms next to the body. And coming into locust pose, this engages the entire body, but really as you're doing it, put your focus on the core and the arms. So as we inhale and lift, Really send those fingertips and the energy through the arms and out of the fingertips. 
to help lift the chest. Draw the belly button in towards the backbone. Go ahead and inhale, lift, lifting the arms, engaging those fingertips, reaching away from the body. Legs are engaged, glutes are engaged. Soften the jaw. <clears throat> One more deep breath. On the exhale, soften and release. Bending the knees, slow windshield wipering back and forth. <clears throat> Open the arms up into a T, and then keeping the forehead connected for just a moment, take two breaths. And then bending the left elbow, draw that, hand, that left hand right next to the left side of the chest. Engage the legs, stacking them one on top of the other and then pressing the earth away, just opening up the right shoulder. Probably feels really good right about now. So the right arm is planted. And then release, <clears throat> switching to the other side. Reach the left arm out, and then bring the right hand next to the right chest, stacking the legs, and Pressing the right side away from the earth. <clears throat> and release, coming back to neutral. Bring both hands next to the chest, tucking the elbows in. Baby cobra flow for five breaths. So baby cobra, we're not coming up into full cobra. Shoulders are released. And full, co co full cobra is a little bit where the elbows are almost straight. So baby cobra, exhale, lower down. Five breaths. This is lengthening the core muscles, also engaging the triceps. One last inhale. Exhale, release. And then press the earth away using the strength of those beautiful arms. And coming into child's pose. Take five deep breaths in child's pose. Arms can be extended to just get a little more stretch and lengthening in those arm muscles. But your choice. If you prefer the arms to be swept to the side and just releasing down. You do you. And then slowly, on that fifth exhale, tuck the chin towards the chest, roll the spine all the way up, clasping hands behind, sending the fist towards the earth, opening the chest and the heart, but keeping the core and the alignment engaged. So try not to give um, a back bend here. And then release. Coming into easy seated pose, crisscross, applesauce <laughs> and kind of finding those sit bones finding the alignment inhale sweep the arms up and over coming into an easy seated fold so really bring just bring the fingertips here towards the mat and then start walking the fingertips away so keeping a nice long spine being mindful about where you are today maybe the fingertips reach you just want the sit bones connected. Maybe the forearms come to the earth. Soften and release. On the next exhale, keeping the left hand towards center, reach the right arm up and over, softening that right shoulder away from the ear, and release. Walking the hands to the right hand side, planting the left hand on top of the right, and then peeling the left arm up and over, releasing that left shoulder, and then slowly exhaling that hand down, coming back to neutral. Each time we come to neutral, see if you can maybe sink just a little bit lower. Plant the right hand at center, peel the left arm up. 
and over. Shoulders release, core stays engaged. And release the left arm down. Walk in the hands to the left hand side, right hand planted on top of left. And then peel the right arm up and over. Slowly release the right arm down, coming back to neutral. Take two more deep breaths in neutral. And then release the chin to the chest. Slowly roll the spine one vertebrae at a time. Coming to the middle of the mat, setting up for boat pose. I feel like, you know, I feel like we've done some boats, but not really like the whole boat sequence. So <clears throat> here we go. Um, definitely a great core uh, posture. Lots of modifications. So we've already done a lot of arm work today. We've got um, a reverse table coming up. So really focus on the core here. So instead of the sit bones, we rock away from the sit bones. So, you know, so you're not sitting up straight, you're kind of rocking away. Um, for boat pose, the toes can be, can stay engaged, you can float the arms up. If you lean back with a nice long spine and the core, you can feel the core engaged without even doing anything. But I always kind of like bring that belly button in just a little bit tighter keeping the shoulders released, the jaw is soft so you can breathe. So you can also release the arms behind, tucking the elbows under so that you can release the legs all the way up or even stopping halfway. Um, typically when I do boat pose, I have a happy medium. So I keep the legs parallel with the earth, palms facing up. So my arms are engaged, my legs are engaged, core is engaged. If you feel like going all the way, you can straighten the legs, but I get, always get a little shaky, so I stop halfway. So just taking five deep breaths wherever it feels good for you. And then taking just a moment, release, maybe hug the knees in towards the chest, give yourself just a kind word. Maybe encourage yourself today. Tuck that chin in. <clears throat> and then coming back to, <clears throat> excuse me, your version of boat pose. And then circle the arms. So like when we're doing a seated cat-cow or standing cat-cow. And then slowly rotate the arms like they're wrapped around a beach ball towards the right side, keeping the legs neutral. So just targeting the obliques here. Five breaths. Lower the toes down if that feels better. And then release back to neutral. Plant the feet, hug the knees in towards the chest once more. And then you know what we're doing, setting up for the other side. So floating the legs, finding your boat pose, round the arms, and then release the rounded arms to the left-hand side. Five breaths. And release, bringing the feet back to the earth. Hug the knees in. One last time, just coming into our modified boat, strengthen the arms, give yourself a little bit of a break, core is engaged, and then release the fingertips behind the body, coming into our reverse table, again being mindful of the neck and the head. So if you flow with this, which is totally cool, so flowing means inhale we lift, exhale we lower. Just be mindful with the head and the neck. So we wanna keep, um, keep protecting that. Core is engaged, arms are engaged. If it feels like too much, back off of the posture. So bring the heels in close to the hips, planting the feet on the inhale, lifting the hips. Pressing the earth away from the body and then slowly 
bringing that spine into a nice long alignment. Five deep breaths. If it feels like too much, slowly lower and lift mindfully. After the fifth breath, slowly start to lower and bring the body all the way down. So taking your time, draw the knees in towards the chest, give yourself a hug. Crossing right leg over left, draw both knees in towards the chest. Start to open the arms up into a T, release the knees to the left hand side, looking out over the right. To deepen the stretch, you can take the left hand to the top of the right leg. Just to draw in a little deeper twist, both shoulders are engaged with the earth. With each exhale, really see if you can sink and soften and let go a little bit more. On the next exhale, slowly draw the knees back to neutral, hug the knees in, left crossed over the right, draw both knees in towards the chest, open the arms up into a T, release the knees to the right hand side, looking up over the left, and then planting that right hand on the top of the leg, just to draw a deeper twist. Continue that deep inhale and exhale. On the next exhale, slowly returning back to neutral. Hug the knees in one more time, just rock side to side and make small circles in one direction and the other. Inviting any last movements that might feel good. So maybe a happy baby or releasing the legs coming into plow, whatever feels good. Just taking a couple of breaths there. Maybe just legs up the wall, flexing the feet, allowing the blood to kind of drain and easily come back to the heart. Wherever you are, join me in legs up the wall, flexing those feet, engage the core, releasing the shoulders, fingertips underneath the hip, and then slowly to a very slow count of 10, keeping the legs engaged, Core is engaged, slowly lower all the way down. Once your heels connect with the earth, release the fingers from beneath the hips. Allow the feet to naturally open, arms next to the side, palms facing up. Maybe adjust the shoulders away from the ears, drawing the chin slightly towards the chest. Starting to set up, releasing the body, preparing for Shavasana or resting pose. So feeling the cool air passing over the bottoms of the feet, feel the vibration of the body in the soles of the feet. Soften the tops of the feet, release each toe one at a time. Soften the legs, feel the connection of the legs with the earth. Release the hips. Soften and release the stomach. So often we hold our feelings and our tension and our anxiety in our stomach. See if you can soften and release. Let go of anything that's not serving you today. Release any tension from the lower spine. Soften the upper spine. Maybe slightly pressing the shoulders and shoulder blades into the earth, opening up the heart space, and then release. Feel the connection of the backs of the arms with the earth. Soften the tops of the hands. Feel the vibration of the body and the palms of the hands and release each finger one at a time. Release the neck. Soften the jaw, soften the cheeks, the ears, the nose. Release any tension from the eyes and the forehead. Taking a deep breath in through the nose. 
On the exhale, release from the top of the head, softening the eyes, releasing all the way through to the bottoms of the feet. For just a few moments, I'll let you rest, and then you'll hear my voice again. As you start to hear the sound of my voice, start bringing awareness back to your space. Slowly, just start wiggling the fingers and toes, taking a moment to settle in with gratitude for that stillness. And then slowly, as you feel ready, keeping the eyes closed, roll to one side, maybe draw the knees in towards the chest. Taking a moment to notice and appreciate bliss. So as we leave Shavasana and start re-entering our space and our energy, it's a blissful state. So as you are resting in your blissful state, just draw that gratitude in. Gratitude for that beautiful mind of yours. Reminding yourself that peace begins with me. Such a simple, simple mantra. Hold it with you. So wherever your faith or spirituality comes from, know that all of those gifts have been given to you, including that beautiful mind of yours. Use that beautiful mind to allow yourself to be still. Let that peace begin with you so that it flows outward. Know that you are beautifully and perfectly made just the way you are, exactly the way you are. Knowing that all of those parts and pieces and experiences, every bit of grief, every bit of joy, every bit of failure and triumph, created the person that you are right now. Uniquely, beautifully, authentically. Trust it. Trust yourself. Allow that stillness to listen to that still small voice within you. That's where the divine works through you. Allow yourself to be the divine. Try not to shy away from it. As you feel ready, slowly join me in a seated posture to close our practice out today. Finding your alignment, bringing the fingers down to the earth, to feel grounded and supported without effort one last time before we enter the day. As you feel ready, slowly open the arms up wide, collect this beautiful energy you helped create into the palms of your hands. Exhaling to heart center, thumbs to the heart to remind us we are not alone and we are all connected by no mistake. May you be safe, may you be well, May you be at ease, and may you know peace. Namaste, the light in me honors the light in you.